question comes up now then, Harley, what's your opinion about colostrum? Now, I've done a few videos on colostrum, we'll do another one. What I'll do is I'll bring in someone else and let them share their, their thoughts. My personal experience of colostrum has made me feel bloated and gassy and, and stinky. And the reason why I stopped doing colostrum back in 1999 was I had read that it can promote cancer growth because it contains insulin growth factor 1, which based in the China study, insulin growth factor 1 is a nasty. So colostrum is rich in IGF-1. So anyone serious about health should be serious about avoiding colostrum based on its IGF-1 status. Avoid the colostrum in my opinion. Based on the science, I mean, you know. <laughs> so colostrum is often promoted in the multi-level marketing world as the next best thing, as nature's first food or famous food or whatever. I have to agree and disagree. Colostrum is great if you're a baby human. Yeah? Human colostrum is what you should be having as a baby human. And bovine colostrum is what you should be having if you're a baby bovine, if you're a calf, if you're a baby cow. Giving adult humans bovine colostrum, I don't know. That's, you know, in, you were infusing bovine insulin growth factor into human genetics and hormones and DNA and RNA and all that stuff. Don't think it's a good idea. Get up to date on IGF-1 and the dangers of consuming it. Colostrum is rich in IGF-1, and that's the main reason all the multi-level marketing people promote it. So here's a clip from Daniel Vitalis, who promotes his own brand of colostrum. And I've got nothing personal against Daniel Vitalis. This is just my comments and criticism showing my opinion on colostrum. So Thrival's colostrum is rich, creamy, and a perfect addition to homemade chocolates, smoothies, and blended drinks. So Thrival colostrum powder is available in two sizes as a 6.5 ounce tub and a one kilo size tub for the serious user. Our colostrum is also available in capsules, perfect for people with a busy lifestyle and ideal to take with you when you're traveling. My concerns with the colostrum would be that, yes, it's creamy because it's got the, the animal fat in there. We know the fat we eat, the fat we wear. My question would be, does colostrum have the pus levels that we have in milk, be it raw, organic, biodynamic, grass-fed, local, commercial, whatever, all milk at commercial level has somatic cell count, SCC, pus in the milk. Does it, is it in the colostrum? My concern would be to ask your colostrum dealer, does it contain the somatic cell count, and which means pus? My concern would be the insulin growth factor, which the colostrum is pushed as, touted as, I would say as grown adults, we don't need any more insulin growth factor, especially from bovines. Just saying. Now here's a little snippet of a documentary about the dangers of insulin growth factor. So listen to this. Eating mastitis, a bacterial infection of the teat. When not treated, it results in the formation of pus. In the United Kingdom, milk from infected cows containing up to 400 million pus cells per litre can legally be sold for human consumption. In the United States, the legal amount of pus cells per litre varies from state to state with Rhode Island being the lowest at just over 200 million pus cells per liter and Florida being the highest, legally allowing just over 500 million pus cells per liter. One teaspoonful of milk could contain up to two million pus cells. Now, would you drink it? Many ailments are associated with high dairy consumption. Extensive research has been carried out over numerous years, the most comprehensive being the China study. Professor T. Colin Campbell from Cornell University in New York joined forces with colleagues in China, France, United Kingdom, Canada and the United States. These leading medical professionals using approved scientific methods have exposed long-term side effects from drinking cow's milk. A joint study between Canada and Finland implicated cow's milk as a risk factor for type 1 diabetes in every one of the diabetic children studied. A compound called insulin-like growth factor, known as IGF-1, is found in cow's milk and has been shown to occur in increased levels in the blood by individuals consuming dairy products on a regular basis. Men who had the highest levels of IGF-1 had more than four times the risk of prostate cancer compared with those who had the lowest levels. Professor T. Colin Campbell suggests that IGF-1 is turning out to be a predictor to certain cancers, including prostate, in much the same way that cholesterol is a predictor of heart disease. Of all the predictors of prostate cancer, the consumption of dairy is the best predictor of prostate cancer. During their lifetime, 
the average American consumes almost 600 pounds of dairy products, which is about three times more dairy than grains and almost five times more dairy than vegetables. In Western cultures, we have a tendency to ignore our health until there is a problem. Then, and only then, do we seek medical advice. Well, those vegan chicks are really hot. Anyways, post your thoughts down below. Share your criticisms and comments. Is insulin growth factor safe for humans? Watch the thoughts, post your comments down below. So Thrival Colostrum Powder is available in two sizes, as a 6.5 ounce tub and a one kilo size tub for the serious user. Well, do you think colostrum is good for weight loss? No. Why not? Because, you know, it's just crazy. You know, eating something that's full of fat and cholesterol and thinking you're gonna lose weight. Yeah, I guess. I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. Carbohydrates make you slim. I can't I argue with that. Can't argue with that.